Welcome to the Daybreak Star Radio Network. We're super excited. Our motto here at our radio network based in Seattle is Indigenize in the Airways. I'm joined by my station manager, Sherry Steele. I'm Harris Francis, the program director, and we're super excited. Mary Kay, thank you so much for making this happen. This has been, this has been in the works for some time and everything, I, I believe everything in life is meant to be when it happens. So we are joined by Mary Kay and the wonderful, phenomenal Cherokee Youth National Choir, and I just I love your guys' sound, your music. I'm super excited to chat with you guys today. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah. So tell us, tell us who you are, and um, well, I guess the tribal affiliation is Cherokee. But if you want to say anything more about that, or even in language, please do so. So you want the kids to introduce themselves, yeah, please? <clears throat> okay. Come here. We're going to start with you. So here. Uh, hi, I'm Camara Terrafin. Um, I'm a Cherokee. What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. And you go to? Sequoia High School. There you go. Okay. Thank you. I'm Carla Sorrell, and I'm in sixth grade, and I will be going to Immersion in a year. Thank you. Go ahead, Emma. I'm Abel. I go to Fort Gibson, and I'm in sixth grade. Thank you. I'm Elena, and I... Oh, go ahead and go ahead and do your opinion. And I go to Church Immersion School. Oh, no, it's eighth grade. Yeah. Thank go you. ahead and introduce yourself in Cherokee like you normally would. Oh, well, see you on Q. Don't tell me the G. E. Don't tell me the next class. You take that class. Miss Nay. Well, see you on the glass door. Don't you can do your that yet. Going there, Ding, 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 um, my name is Ella Mounts, and I'm a senior at Sequoia High School. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah. And who are you? And I'm Mary Kay Henderson, and I'm the director <laughs> of these wonderful students. And um, it's so great to have them here today and, and to have you all here today in, in my office. So thank you for, for inviting us and for coming or not coming, you didn't come anywhere, but you, but you did reach out. <laughs> so Absolutely. through the internet. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, so let's talk about how the youth choir, you know, originally got their start, you know, created the initial pathway and how you guys keep it and, uh, you know, going year after year, you know, how you guys can continue to rise to the occasion for your guys' families. Well, in 2000, then principal chief Chad Smith, he reached out to a teacher up in a community called Kenwood, which is really the heart of the Cherokee Nation. It's, it's most of the people there are full blood, most speak the language, especially 20 years ago. Um, of course, COVID hit our communities pretty hard, and a lot of our elders who were speakers uh, passed during that time. And, um, but he reached out to the teacher who was working with just children around that community and who were singing in Cherokee. And there was another woman who was interested from Stillwell, who, which is another very Cherokee community. Um, that's where I have my roots from, from my family. And, um, so they got the two women together and decided to form <clears throat> the Cherokee Children's Choir. Um, they were all grade school children, and they started singing and doing things for about three years. And then the both were school teachers. And they said, we can't, we can't keep up with our school stuff. And 
this choir too because it was kind of rolling down the hill and gathering a lot of momentum and um i got a call from a friend who said that there is a um an opening at the cherokee nation for a youth choir director or a, a choir director and we think you'd be great and i said oh, i don't I, I don't want to change jobs right now <laughs> And my husband encouraged me and said, you need to go ahead and put your application in because it closed that day. You couldn't apply after that day. So anyway, went ahead and he goes, you can always tell him no if you don't like the job. Well, I fell in love with the job and with the kids. And um, 20 years later, <laughs> here I still am. <laughs> With Wonderful. a whole new group of kids that weren't even born when I <laughs> when I first started, and now they're here and singing. So it's it's pretty wonderful. That's great. That's actually a great segue into our next question: was how do you keep it going when your choir graduates regularly? Like how does how does that work? How does everybody stay consistent? Um, well they be they all become leaders they really do um that's the thing that that starts when garrett first walked in my office as a sixth grader i he sang quietly and <laughs> <laughs> So the, the kids come in and we just do a one-on-one -on -one audition and leadership is, is really encouraged through all of this because they're all ambassadors for our tribe. They're, they're goodwill ambassadors no matter where they go and what they do. And they will remain that way for the rest of their lives, really. Um, so many of our, those beginning students um, now teach or um, we have one that owns and runs a daycare um, and he teaches Cherokee to his to the little preschool children and um, it, it's just wonderful and um, they just all develop leadership skills Thank you, Mary Kay. So our next question is for Mary Kay or for one of the wonderful students here. Just talk about the uh, the process, you know, the the mindset that you guys are in when you guys are going to audition. You know, how do you train yourself to, you know, to to uh, to put on a good audition and ultimately, you know, get uh, get chosen to be one of the members of the Cherokee Youth National Choir? So, tell me. You just kind of go out on a limb and hope you go. <laughs> Just hope for the best, before. huh? Drink water beforehand. I came into audition with like a dry throat, and it sounded horrible. <laughs> it was like uh, it, it, it was like, you know, drink water. That's important. Well, you know, as a singer, I've all I have many, many times sounded like you know whatever Camara was talking about. So, not listening for that necessarily, but looking for students that again that show that leadership quality plus you know, being able to sing and they come in not knowing any Cherokee, most of them. Now, some of the girls and guys have been, you know, have known Cherokee before, um, but have rapidly picked it up and um, still not conversationalists necessarily. Neither am I. Uh, everything I've learned, I've learned. Yeah. So how does a typical choir practice go like how do you because it's it's different than okay. singing on your own like yeah. you actually <laughs> oh, really how how is it different day. depends on how everyone's feeling that day what we feel like going over mm -hmm. um or if we have a big concert coming up oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah those are the worst times because everyone can be a little grouchy especially mary Kay, but we still <laughs> 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 oh, put mary Kay on the spot now <laughs> But we forgive her because we get grouchy too. Yeah. <laughs> After a while, we're like, I don't want that anymore. <laughs> but we persevere. Yes. 
Yeah. They yeah. always rise to the occasion. They really do. You hold on my foot. <laughs> this is probably a hard question, but if you had to choose one place, where has your, been your favorite place up to date to perform and travel to? I'm going to start with Camara. Oh, wait, this is a good one. <laughs> you weren't listening? I couldn't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> I can he repeat said, it. Where was your very favorite place to, to, audit, uh, to sing? Probably the University of Arkansas, just because. Not the first lady. <laughs> I'm Vera, I was, I, I, that's where I was giving you this. I know. But <laughs> before I went to that concert at the University of Arkansas, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life until I went there and I lost my phone. And this guy went to help me and I asked him about his art program. So now I have a course of what I'm going to do with my life instead of just ending up like some of my family members. Yeah. But tell them, come on, we're all dying to. How many of you all got to sing for that for the first lady? Okay. Cool. I didn't get, I didn't she introduced her. I introduced her, but I didn't sing. Oh, that's true. See, I know. I well, her. we had so uh, the distinct honor to have um, Dr. Jill Biden and um, Deb. Hey, uh, Holland, come and see about our language initiative here at the tribe. And so they asked the youth choir to come and sing. Um, and we had, at that point, we had not auditioned in two years. See, it was during COVID. We all wore masks when we sang. and um, But it was life-changing for a lot of the the kids yes. and um, and for myself it was it was amazing to see the impact that the, the these students made on somebody who doesn't even understand the language hmm. just just by seeing their you know feeling their spirit you know, as they sing. It's one of the things that's so important about having the languages still. Even if most people honestly don't understand it and never will, that they just, people have to hear it. Yeah. They have to hear it. Yeah. It's so true. what was it, what was it like doing that? I mean, those are some big people. Um, again, holding on by a thread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing a theme months. in your life, Abigail. That's, that's, that's just. I think because it was so like terrifying to come from like small town Oklahoma to someone as like prestigious as Dr. Biden, it was um, it was scary. Yeah. So all of us were, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, generally terrified Terrible. to go up there. But when we get up there and sing, and then you, there's like this energy about it, and then she's standing right there in front of you. It's like okay, this is good. This is where I'm meant to be. I'm supposed to be here doing this. And so it's it's like a very good reality um, check, but like in a good way, not in that way. You just felt like rich people. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that comment? <laughs> yeah. She said she smelled like rich people. Um, <laughs> she had like this. Yeah. It was like such a good perfume she had on. <laughs> it smelled like fruity. Yeah. <laughs> Like, okay, let's get that. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> you can go to the next one. Okay. <laughs> if you all could, if you all, hey, we're, we just, we're going by the floor around here. And if you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we have the honor of uh, having our one on one this afternoon with the one and only Cherokee National Youth Choir, and they are located in Oklahoma. And of course, we're here in Seattle. An honor to talk to all of the students and, and Mary Kay. Uh, next question, if you could perform anywhere in the world, where would it be and why would you choose to go to that city, state, country? I think I would probably want to perform in San Diego at the Padres Ballpark. I've always loved San Diego. Oh, cool. I always love like the tropical feeling and um, yeah. I love baseball. So. <laughs> that, that's good. Oh, that'd be really awesome. That'd be big. There's a museum in Oklahoma City, I think, that's um, all about our Cherokee 
um, ancestors, and I think that would be a good place to sing at. Ooh, totally. That'd be awesome. That'd be no, great. I don't think I was there. I bet you guys could actually do that. That's something that could be done. <laughs> yeah, we have done that. We have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was like, we were only allowed to a couple of people because it was, you know, back, so. still in like the height of COVID. Yeah. So yeah. we were uh, allowed to bring like three people. Yeah, that was so a fun trip. It was. Yeah. We were lucky to meet a native celebrity, or to us as a celebrity. It was, um, it was an actor who plays the um, spirit guide off of Res Dogs. We got to meet him. <laughs> He was what, like six, five, six, six. He was really tall. He was really tall. And I'm six one. So. <laughs> oh wow, he doesn't look that tall in the show. But I guess he's mostly on a horse too. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's great. What are you all working on now? Are you get, are you doing any more covers in Cherokee, or is there is there any secret we could know? We have. Um, our, we started on a project with Becky Hobbs. Um, who is a songwriter out of Nashville and also Cherokee, who um, has written a, a musical um, about the life of Nancy Ward, who was the beloved woman of the Cherokee. Mm -hmm. And it's called Nanyahi, which is her name in Cherokee. And we talked about covering all of those songs that, that she did in that. Um, a couple of years ago and then COVID hit again or, or COVID hit. And so we kind of stopped that. So we kind of just got the okay to start traveling at the 1st of April this year. Mm -hmm. And then it has just taken off and hit, hang on because it's, it's moving. And so making decisions daily on where do we go from here? What are we doing now? Because protocols have changed and and all these different things. So mm -hmm. I can't really say we have a secret. You know, um, I do. Uh, we're working on. Um, we're working on uh, uh, an event with uh, Michael Martin Murphy. I don't know if you are familiar with him. He wrote a song that was very popular in the early 80s, late 70s, called Wildfire. She'll oh, be, no. She'll be right in Wildfire. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you, <laughs> it's a good some part. of you are too young to remember this. <laughs> I'm not. And, um, but they've decided to produce a movie about this song mm -hmm. and to act it out. And they're using native people in the movie and michael wants the choir to be on the soundtrack of that and oh, wants that's us huge. to so that that is huge so that's, that's huge, huge that we shouldn't tell don't tell anyone <laughs> we won't put that on the radio today don't worry we're international but we won't put that on the radio so <laughs> that's fine it'll be hard it'll be hard to keep that a secret but we promise <laughs> we won't put that on Oh, no, I'm teasing. You can tell all you want. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was, that was a great song. My mom and I used to do road trips all over Oklahoma and go up to Bowering and Miami and see people. And we'd drive mm -hmm. and sing that song at full volume. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And we're not singers, so it's probably nothing. <laughs> <ever needed laughs> it was a good thing it was in the car. <laughs> well, um. Do you have a CD coming out anytime soon? Well, that would be the Nanya He. Oh. Um, if we do that, if we decide to move toward that. So hopefully we will. Um, that would be great. Honestly, that so, would be wonderful. That's a yeah. great story, too. Yes, it is. This next question definitely probably goes to you know one of the students, and that is what advice would you give to an up and coming, you know, native artist that you know, wants to be able to, you know, share their voice and their sound with, with, um, you know, with the communities, you know, that wants to be able to step in and feel comfortable to a recording studio and, you know, lay down a song for the first time. Ella, why don't you talk about that? Well, um, I got my, I would say, don't be afraid whenever you first get into it, like just jump in, in all honesty, because whenever I first joined, I was the quietest kid you would ever meet. 
and I was so shy, but um, through the choir, it's really helped me get out of my shell and actually put myself out there more. And um, it's actually, I've actually done stuff on my own too. And the choir has really just given me the confidence to be able to do that. But um, I had to learn not to be afraid to be able to let that kind of happen. And so, yeah, just. <laughs> Thank you. I think it was the um, same kind of thing for me because the first two or three weeks, I didn't really talk with um, anybody. But then I kind of started breaking out of my shell. And uh, it's really fun because it feels like a family pretty much. Totally. I bet. I bet. How often do you all practice? Every Tuesday. Oh, yeah, definitely family. That's a lot of togetherness, yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. Cool. But our favorite things are the bus trips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are. That's when the, that's where the crazy stories come from. <laughs> <laughs> the impromptu songs. Yeah. Uh, Hamilton. Both. Didn't we get stuck in the Starbucks at Washington? That was me and Garrett. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got we have so many memories and just trips that we get to oh, make them. Sense bond us together. It's like me and Ella, we got trapped in the Washington, D.C. Starbucks. Oh, yeah. Or And then that time that we uh, got trapped on the Metro with the crazy guy. Yeah. Just <laughs> having a conversation with his jacket, you know, as yeah. you do. And the other time Disclaimer, <laughs> I do watch these kids when we're traveling. <laughs> it just kind of happens. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, maybe you need a B-sides album or something where you just do all the songs you learned on the bus. Yeah. Right, there yeah. you go. <laughs> well, so how can um, kids, I guess, uh, not all of you are in Tahlequah, it doesn't sound like. So how do, how do people get involved with the choir? What do, what do you have to do? How, do you, how would somebody get in there? Well, you have to live in the 14 County area. Yeah, yeah it's really hard. Here, like me and my sister, we live 50 minutes away from the school down here. So we know about the choir. <laughs> so we come here. Mm -hmm. um, I live all the way in Stillwell, which is like 30 minutes away from here. And so I have to drive <laughs> during the summers, at least. And uh, it, it takes a lot to be able to get involved with mm -hmm. this, especially from that distance. But we've had people who have been like, uh, how far did Caitlin live from? Oh, probably like an hour, hour or so. Do you remember uh, Hammy Dojo? She oh, yeah. lived like two hours she, away. She, was she would travel two hours both ways mm -hmm. to get to the choir. Tuesday. It's a big commitment. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's a huge commitment on the family. And it's a huge commitment on the kids, you know, because they have to be willing to learn Cherokee, you know, and um, because they've got to be able to sing and to hold their own with the rest of the choir or, um, you know, there's, there's just no dead weight. They've got to keep going and keep moving forward. Yeah. Well, and it's not just the weekly practice. Um, when, when it's non-COVID times, you all are out doing shows so yes. there's there's more yeah well last week we did um monday night tuesday tuesday night rehearsal no we didn't have rehearsal no we because of the stillwell. yes tuesday we went to stillwell and sang and then did we didn't we sing another day oh they canceled it yeah. okay yeah so i mean Busy. just boom 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 we went to arkansas and and they're still students in school you know what i mean so it gets crazier during the yeah. holiday season now. oh yeah yeah, yeah. Like, turkey yeah. national holiday is the craziest time of year yes yes, yes. 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 Yeah. it's double hard when you're like in several different ap classes trying to keep up with homework and also musicals and musicals we do all that so mm -hmm. we're very involved children outside of the choir as well yeah so we're constantly busy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's just wonderful getting to have you all on. Thanks for all of you gathering and being in our little tiny screen together. It's <laughs> wonderful. And just keep singing your hearts out. Um, we love you and totally appreciate what you're up to. Absolutely. It's been such an honor to chat with you guys and I wish you guys all much success for the rest of your lives in the choir. For your future when you guys step into you know professional roles and good health to you and your families and stay blessed to mary Kay. thank thank you again to you to all your help all the conversations leading up to this and we hope to stay in contact i do too i hope we can stay and and please let me know when this airs and we'll send yeah, we this sure out will. to their parents and let them hear we sure what's will. going on there and um 
Do you all want to sing something? Like what? I'll just sing. Amazing just sing Grace. a little Amazing yeah, Grace. But let's do it in three parts okay. to start out with. We'll just do the first verse. Okay. Are you sitting by somebody with your same voice part? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm the only okay. okay. <laughs> in the very middle. Are you the only <laughs> alpha? I got Carlos. Oh, you've got Carlos. Okay, good. so much i made the interview <laughs> thank you thank you thank you You're welcome thank you. bye guys right, bye have a great night bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.